with us today. My dad, Fred Bianco, is here. Hi. We're so happy to have you on PA Live. Happy to be here. You're making some family traditional dishes we have around the holidays. In the last segment, we made the roasted chestnuts. Yep. We'll have that available for you online to check out that. But now we're making the stuffed artichokes. And this is a family recipe from your grandparents and from Italy. Yes, yes. We're going to do the stuffed artichokes. I'll show you how to prepare them real quick. Um, you can do two different ways of doing the artichokes. You can make them plain or you can stuff them. Um, so we'll start off with, you, you start off with a knife and an artichoke, obviously, mm -hmm. and you cut the stem nice and straight. Okay. And you have to cut the top off a little bit. And then you would snip all the leaves just a little bit to the get rid of the, off. yeah, just to get rid of the, the little pointy things that can stick you in the finger a little bit. Yeah. And you end up with the result of, of this all, all ready to go. Okay. Uh, <laughs> there right. it is. Once you get it, you wash this. And this isn't cooked yet. This, this is, is raw. not cooked yet. So once you get this, you wash it, you dry it out a little bit, and then you come over and you have your stuffing mix, which is any kind of breadcrumbs you want to do. If you got gluten-free people in your family, you can make your own breadcrumbs with gluten-free bread, and they make gluten-free breadcrumbs now too. Yeah. We use um, a little bit of parsley, some onion powder, and some garlic powder. You could do it any way you like to, for your taste. Some people like to put a little bit of Parmesan cheese in it. Some mm. people like to put Romano in it. Yum. It's all up to your taste, but the basic way is with these ingredients. And once you have those ingredients in the bowl, you put a little bit of olive oil so you can, uh, it has some consistency. Do you just kind of eyeball the amount? You just eyeball because okay. it's, really, it's really not um, an exact thing because every artichoke is, is, a, is not consistent in size. Right. Like you can see from our, our table here, the, we this have huge massive, ones, yeah. we have small ones. So it's all, you know, when you're shopping for an artichoke, you have to look and see what's available at the time. Um, and, and I'm going to tell you, artichokes, again, they're, they're one of the best foods you can ever eat. Uh, really a lot healthy. of people have never tried them. Uh, if you eat that for dinner, that is a meal because not, mm -hmm. only, not only is it the outside with the leaves and the stuffing, but there is a heart in the middle. So then you would just take this and put the breadcrumbs in into the leaves all the way around. Do you like stuff it in there? You a do. Bit? But first, okay. you fill in all the holes a little bit, and then when you bounce a little bit, it makes a mess. There's no doubt about it. It makes a mess, but but the the end result is so good you can't you, you just can't compare to anything else. Ooh, so I'm so glad you're here showing this because so <laughs> I always eat them, but I never make, we them, make them. So now I'm learning so once, how to do it. Yeah. So so once you stop the whole thing, or not stuff it because you like I said, you can cook it and have it come out. How do you um, cook it? Do you put it in the oven? Nope, nope. We put it in in a. Oh, you... We put it in a steamer. Okay. And if you don't have a steamer, then you just use a regular pot. You put it in there. You fill the steamer up with water up to here. The steamer, the steamer basket's right ah. there. You put it in there. You let it boil for uh, 45 minutes to an hour. You can taste That's it every good. once in a while. They'll cook differently because of the sizes. Um, you can cook them together or not. We cooked if them all together. If you stuff it, do you still put it in there? You still put the it in there. The bread doesn't come everywhere? Well, no, you have to have it standing up. If you're going to okay. cook one without stuffing it, you would put it upside down so that it would all the moisture will stay in it better. Um, cooking it with the stuff in there, it'll, it'll absorb the moisture. So you just put it in like, just like that. that and then and, it cooks. And after you cook it for a while, this is the end result. This is, this is your stuffed artichoke. Um, Looks great. Uh, it's unbelievable. You can try it if you'd like. Oh, we'll be trying it at the end <laughs> um, of the show today. Dad, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, We're going to post pleasure. this recipe online so you can try it at home as well with the roasted chestnuts. Perfect for Thanksgiving and the holiday season. Big taste test coming up in just a bit. Doc, Not next, we're going to try the, the chestnuts and the stuffed artichoke. But now let's send over to Christina.